My name is Mats Falk. Hi. I broke the world record for solving a Rubik's Cube with a time of 5.55 seconds in March 2013 and came second at the Rubik's World Championships twice in 2013 and 2015. The first step in solving a Rubik's Cube is to make a cross on one color you like. I usually start on the blue cross. An easy way to make the cross is the flower method. We'll first put all the cross edges on the opposite side and then we'll move them over to the correct side. Edges in the middle layer are the easiest to solve. So it's a good idea to start with those. We need to find a free spot on the upper layer and then we can simply insert the edge by doing one move. The same applies for an edge on the bottom layer if the cross color is facing down. We need to find a free spot on the upper layer and then we have to perform a double move to put the edge in its place. Here we have an edge on the bottom layer, but the cross color is facing towards you. We need to find a free spot on the upper layer and move it next to the edge above the piece you want to solve. But we have to resolve the edge we unsolved by applying our first move. The last case is when an edge is on the upper layer, but it's not oriented the way we want it to. We have to take it out of its spot and now it has become an edge in the middle layer. Find a free spot, move it in and that one is solved as well. Now we need to move the edges over to the opposite side. We pick one cross edge and move the bottom two layers until the side color of this edge matches the center. Now we perform a double move and the edge is in the correct spot. When we do this four times, we have our cross solved. Before we continue, it's good to know the notation for algorithms for the Rubik's Cube. When we turn the front layer, we write the capital letter F. When we turn the right layer, we write an R. The same applies for the left layer, L, upper layer, U, back layer, B, and the bottom layer, T. When we turn a side one move clockwise, we just write the corresponding letter. When we turn a side one move counterclockwise, we write the corresponding letter with an apostrophe. When we do a double move on one side, we write the corresponding letter and a two after. To solve the first two layers, we'll use one short algorithm of four moves. R, U, R prime, U prime. This algorithm is called the sexy move. Performing this algorithm six times will get you back to the stage you started at. Goodbye. I hope you were able to follow along. My name is Mats Fag. See you next time.